Hello, my name is Harshita Chawla from Milton High School, representing District 2 with the Fulton County Youth Commission. Welcome to our series on road driving and safety, made in partnership with the AAA. Today's episode is on bike safety. Bike riding is a lot of fun, but crashes happen. Every year, lots of kids need to see their doctor or go to the emergency room because of bike injuries. This is why we'll be discussing the importance of bike safety in today's episode. To begin, let's start with the basics of bike structure. Let's identify the key parts of a bike in this image. Here we have the tires, the brakes, the chain, the seat, the handlebars, and the reflectors. Now each time you ride your bike, you must check for the ABCs of bike safety. A is for air in the tires. Let me ask you a question. Can you tell if there's enough air in the tires just by looking? No, you need to squeeze them. Tires should be feeling firm, not squishy. This bike's tires do not have enough air. How can you put air into the tires? That's right, use a tire pump. Have adult supervision to make sure the pump is correctly attached and detached from the tire valve. What do you think would happen if you rode on flat tires? Your ride won't be smooth and your tire rims can get damaged. Next is B for brakes. It's important to know where your brakes are and which brakes you have. Some smaller bikes usually come with coaster brakes. Pedal backwards and coaster brakes will stop the pedals from turning. Some bigger bikes may come with hand brakes. Your hands need to be big enough to squeeze the brakes hard enough to make them stop the tires from turning. And some bikes may have both. Now, is it safe to stop your bike by putting both feet on the ground when you're riding? Not at all. You can get injured, and especially if you're riding at a fast pace. Moving on, C is for chain. The chain on your bike is an important feature that keeps all parts moving when you're riding. The chain on your bike should never be loose. Always have an adult see if the chain is rusting or has dirt clogging it up. If it does, they can apply a little lubricant to help it work more smoothly. Last but not least, S is for seat. You grow a little every day, so your seat needs to be the proper height for you. When you sit on your bike, both your feet should just be able to touch the ground. If you're a new rider, then make sure both your feet are flat on the ground. How do you know if your bike is too big? If your feet cannot touch the ground when you're sitting on the seat, it's too big. Lower the seat. If the seat is already at its lowest position, you're just not ready for that bike yet. Should your knees be straight or bent? Both. The foot that's closest to the ground should be pretty straight, and the foot that's on the upper pedal should be bent. If both knees are really bent, the seat needs to be raised. Now let's go back to that picture of the bike. Do you remember what this is? That's right, it's the handlebar. Handlebar should sit straight and not crooked. What about this one? You got it, it's the reflectors. Reflectors should be on the spokes of both tires, in your pedals, one on the front and one on the rear. All bikes come with them, so make sure yours are there and not broken off. If you're biking on the road, you should make sure you have a horn or a bell. These do not come with your bike, but are great to have to warn other cyclists, runners, dog walkers, and more that you're approaching. But drivers won't likely hear your horn or bell, especially if their windows are closed, which is also why you should have lights for the front and the rear. Lights on during the day can help drivers see you better from farther away. To keep your bike in good shape, what do you need to do with it after riding? Put it in the garage, shed, or storage area every time. Why? Well, if you leave your bike out, it could get rusty from rain, get run over in the driveway, or get stolen. Remember, bike safety is extremely important. Make sure you're safe at all times and tune in to our next episode.